Nija Mystic are one of Aotearoa's most loved Kiwi bands, uh, which is why it's no, no surprise to me that their new single Sun Goes Down is number one on the Vodafone chart and number six on the singles chart at the moment. And joining me today to talk about their new album, 99AD, are Feliti and Donald from Nija Mystic. Kia ora. Kia ora. Kia ora. How are yeah. you guys? Well, thank you very awesome. much. So, you know, you guys must be kind of used to the sort of success uh, coming every time you release a single. I don't think you ever get used to it. Eh? No, it's something no. you're, you're, you're like, you work harder each time. It's not, it gets harder every time you come out. You, really? Yeah. It yeah. doesn't get easier, it gets harder. So, it's just because you got your own expectations of what you want to achieve, and they're not, they're not sales based or, or, or hype based, they're like what you musically want to achieve. Mm. And so, your standards, you expect more from yourself. So, for us personally, it gets, probably gets harder. Now the last time I spoke to you guys, uh, you just released Elevator Music and I remember you saying that um, you were trying a few different things kind of genre wise. Is 99AD kind of following uh, along that path as well? Yeah, pretty much just every genre that you can think of. Mm. So we've, kind of we've kind of taken it back to, to a time where we enjoyed music because you know like American music these days, it's, it's all the same, it all sounds the same and it's all about the same stuff so we've kind of taken it back and put a bit of funk back into it. and. Um, reggae and yeah, like it's just been a it's been a cool process. We pretty much just went into the studio, and well, actually before we went to the studio, we go we write in Sauronga, um, where we shot Mr. Mister, and um, that's where we actually write. And we just have wicked weekends where we go away and, and, and we'll enjoy each other's company and 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 make quirky music and and try anything and everything. Um, sun goes down, for example. I said, um, we, we have this game and you have to match different themes. And so I just said, oh, I want Bob Marley, Could You Be Love meets Lady Gaga. <laughs> and <laughs> sun goes down. Yeah. It, it morphs in a total different direction than you start with it. And you guys keep releasing awesome music together, so something must be right, right? <laughs> right. right. Keep trying. <laughs> so tell us a little bit more about 99AD because um, we don't know anything about it yet. Uh, and it's still kind of on the boil. It's coming out yeah. soonish. Soonish. Um, it's still developing, like, yeah. it's constantly changing, yeah. constantly evolving, like, it's a bit of a, sorry, I'm gonna cough. <laughs> <laughs> we've, gone, we've gone from, like, 50 tracks to 18 to 15, back to 21, and so, yeah, it, it keeps changing every month. I think that the, the one other thing that stands out is that um, our guitarist David sings a lot more on, mm. on the album. Oh, really? Yeah, so, um, like a lot of the time he'll, he'll, he'll sing stuff, backing vocals for Awa and stuff, but in this album he sings the lead in about two or three songs. So he'll be stepping up to the mic when we see you guys playing live? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and it's, I, I think everyone's, we've all kind of got a lot more involved. Like they had, like we're kind of taking our, that this is what you do hat off. And um, so you'll see Donald on, you know, the bass guitar, or you'll see um, he uh, he's mucking around with like, the keyboard and and me and Awa coming in and doing melodies and stuff. So when you hear the music, it's literally everyone involved mm. from the music, uh, from the instrumental to the vocals. Yeah. yeah. Now you guys were also doing quite well in Japan. I know you were trying to break into the whole J-pop scene. Um, how did that work out for you after Elevator Music? It was kind of just a flow on. Like um, we just continued the relationships and Japanese are awesome people. Like I, I, I can't believe like how much we have in common with them. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, there's big differences, yeah. and it's an exciting place. And I think that that excitement comes into the music. And um, what do you think? It was, it's awesome. Like culturally, like we're real similar, um, and they get down with the music even though they don't understand what we're saying. Like at concerts, we got crazy as fanatics and stuff and they're all screaming and yelling. Uh, we were in Tokyo and I had um, my own little fan club. They had I Love Donnie signs, which was weird, but awesome. That's kind of cute. Yeah. <laughs> and you also have a Japanese MC uh, featuring on your first single from the album Sacrifice. Uh, who's he? Mr. Wise. Um, he's from a group called Teriyaki Boys. Um, they're from a label, um, you know the clothing label Baby Night? Yep. That's their record label. Oh, that's yeah. what, Pharrell Williams's label? For, uh, um, yeah, a, a kind of joint with the Japanese. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so he's, he's from a crew called Teriyaki Boys who have, you know, they've done songs with Pharrell, Buster. Kanye, Buster. They just, uh, when we were there, they had just completed a remix of Jay-Z. Um, and Jermaine Dupri. The music's produced by Jermaine Dupri and, and everything and mixed by them. So, like, they're on a fully international scale and um, I think it was just buzzy for us to, to be like, 
it's that whole two degrees of separation yeah, thing, you know, like, while well, they're doing this for them and we're doing it with them, so it's kind of like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hopefully at some point. At some point the lines cross, but just, he's a real humble guy. Yeah. Um, all we said to him was, look, you want to write music? We'll fly you down here, let's have a good time, we'll shoot a video. Um, and that's the only song we've ever done that we, we wrote that two days before we shot the video. Yeah. Literally still finishing it the night before. Some people hadn't heard all of it at the video shoot. Yeah, yeah. So it was all kind of just a process that kind of just happened and um, it was a cool vibe. And then we got to, when we went to, back to Tokyo like about um, a, month, a month later, it just happened that we went back at the same time and he hosted us. We got to meet a lot of the artists over there. It sounds like in 2010 um, you guys are going to be doing even bigger things, especially with uh, these type of friends. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully. Exactly. I mean, you, it's, it's, it's a whole thing of like, just, you're just stacking all your cards and putting them everywhere and going, hopefully something falls into place. Yeah. 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 Well, 99AD, uh, when is it going to be out? It's going to be out in June. Um, and the whole focus for it is, we just took a whole step in another direction. Um, cause, and I think it kind of reflected the fact that the first time we're on our own record label, mm -hmm. it's called Arch Dynasty. Hence and, the um, AD in 99. We started <clears throat> at 99. Me and, me and Donnie, um, we were in a group called Arch Dynasty and the boys couldn't think of a name for the label so we called it that. And we actually thought of creating a label back when we were, 99. Like, yeah, when we were 14, 15. So hence the name, <laughs> 99 AD. Um, when everything, all our ideas um, sprung, sprung to mind and um, now we're actually fulfilling them, so, yeah. And if people want to check out like more information about, you know, when your songs are out or when you're playing and that kind of thing, um, where can they find you? Uh, at our website, uh, www.nesian-mystic.com. I say that a lot because we, we always, everyone puts a C. Yeah. I don't know how long we'll be going for and they still put a C. Name. Yeah. But anyway, and it, what it. else? <laughs> uh, our Facebooks, MySpace, uh, Bebo's, YouTube. Twitter, YouTube. So all all over the internet. Yeah, we are. Pretty much. But, um, oh, and also the, the biggest thing that we've been having a real cool time with is uh, DJs doing remixes of uh, Sun Goes Down. Yeah. Go on YouTube, you'll find it all over the place. Yeah. So, what, are you putting up stems for people to remix? No, they've just been doing it. They've done it themselves. Oh, wow. there's, yeah. there's heaps of them. So um, we're looking to do a competition later on with um, making the instrumental and the acapella available. Yeah. Yeah. Watch the space. Okay. Well, thanks guys for joining me on the show today. And uh, we're going to check out the brand new single by Nation Mystic. This is from the album 99AD. This is Sun Goes Down. Right.